Yo yo and welcome to another tier list. This tier list is obviously about UD jungle matchups. Guys, if you hear something weird in the background, it's my fan. I'm getting cooked by the sun right now. I have some lenience with me, please. Um, the tier list tiers are as follows. We have hard as fuck, meaning it's basically tilted towards to the completely towards to the enemy. If the enemy fucks up, you can do something. If the enemy doesn't fuck up, you are fucked, basically. Hard is it isn't a skill matchup but it's kind of like tilting more towards the enemy having to do mistakes than you having to do mistakes skill is just an equal matchup doable is it tilts a little bit more towards you and easy is basically unless you're trolling you should be winning that this is going to be a tier list for both versions of Udia. okay so this is basically like if you're in champ select then you would build optimally against these champions you would do x y and z I think we can start with Amumu. I would say Amumu is a skill matchup. I don't think Amumu has a super easy time against Odia, and I don't think Odia has a super easy time against Amumu. I think you can technically go both AD or AP against Amumu, in my opinion. AP would be more for team fighting, where Amumu is gonna outshine you slightly, usually, if you don't have like hard CC like Amumu in your team. And if you go Tiger, you're kind of looking more towards bullying him in the early game and taking objectives countering his gangs etc etc but yeah he's a skill matchup he is not super easy a good amumu is not super easy but a good amumu is also not super hard in my opinion diana i will put into honestly i would put diana into easy category i think both tiger and ap Udi do well against her tiger in particular just melts diana usually most divers that don't have like a lot of cc she has one stun right with her ult um, just die to Tiger Udi when they dive into your team and you get to like isolation queue them so in that regard she's like very easy the same kind of goes for Phoenix with your pop but your damage is a little bit less bursty but you just also kind of out team fight the Diana in my opinion Echo I will put Echo into doable Echo is still easy but Echo has like a lot of things he can do to deny you killing him or deny you doing something against him he has a lot of mobility he is he has a get out of jail free card he is not as easy as diana but he's also not like a matchup that should give you troubles in my opinion as a player elise so for ad udia i would say so here's the thing Here's the thing, I'm talking about good Elise players, okay? I'm not talking about an Elise that just walks up to you and lets you auto-attack her to death, right? I'm talking about a good Elise player. I would say a good Elise player is probably skill. I would say for AD Udi it's a little bit harder because she has her little spider splitting your Q2 damage, which makes you just deal less damage. Sad for Udia, but AP Udi does very well into fighting her, but she can evade your pathing quite easily because Udi is basically just like a full clear champion so it's like very obvious where Udi is on the map and when and Elise can just avoid you and gank and get her team ahead and you can do a lot about it other than taking her camps making yourself stronger and impact the mid game team fights or dragon herald fights whatever you're just going to be much stronger yourself than Elise but Elise has the potential of making your uh, her team much stronger than yours and even make your team tilt but i don't count that if somebody trolls in your team because they get ganked by an elise and you're level three or then you can't gank that's not really a qualification in my opinion for a um for this for this tier list evelyn evelyn is weird man Evelyn is weird. So here's the thing. If your team doesn't end Evelyn, I would even say she's doable or easy for both forms of Udia. You can itemize quite well against her, in my opinion. And you can... You don't, like, you don't really have pressure from her. If your team is inting, however, right, a random Evelyn level 3 getting a double kill bot lane, then it's just kind of Jova. And that happens way too often with this champion. It's just a very hard snowball champion, so I'm just going to put it into skill. Skill being your team is getting diffed, but no, in all reality, it's a matchup where, like, if the Evelyn does very smart plays on the map in the early game and gets to hit her level 6 for free and play around her invisibility it's gonna be hard if she doesn't and you have like a lot of impact in this game in this matchup you can actually 
make her get to the point where she's actually a threat way later into the game where it doesn't even really matter anymore. Filler sticks I'm gonna put into the I'm gonna put into the hard category. Filler sticks generally speaking you and filler sticks are not gonna interact unless he walks into you in the early game if there's a team fight or a skirmish he's gonna jump over the wall he's gonna e he's gonna q he's gonna zonius and he's gonna do his little bit in the team fight without you really interacting with him the same goes for his ganking counter ganking him is a little bit harder because he's just gonna be in his ult with your team being stunned usually it's a lot of dependency on your team to do well against filler sticks and less on your side so it's kind of like fiddlesticks tilted in my opinion fiddlesticks is not easy for phoenix udias i think for ad udia fiddlesticks is even worse unless you get to invade him like crazy in the early game which is always like a condition that's dependent on the enemy laners or duo laners so Gragas, disgusting even if this champion is not a jungler right now his gameplay is so anti-melee it's actually crazy you can't auto attack him if you're in Phoenix range, you're in his combo range for like two seconds. It's just a horrible champion, a horrible anti-melee champion. Graves, I will put into, honestly, I will say a good Graves is like a skill matchup. A good Graves is a skill matchup. Phoenix Udi does really well in him because he doesn't have a lot of MR and his passive doesn't stack him out. Tiger Udi can also one-shot him if he is not fat, so I would put it into skill category. He's not weak against you either though, right? He's not a weak champion against Phoenix Udi either, but I would just say that he is kind of like in skill category. Um... Now, Gwen Jungle, I haven't seen a lot of. I don't even know if I want to speak on it. But generally speaking, I would say Gwen is a hard matchup for Udia. She can, she can use her Shroud to never take damage from your R if you go Phoenix Udia. And if she's in her Shroud, she gets magic resistance and armor. And she can, she, of course, she heals a lot with Conqueror and all that shit, Riftmaker. Um, so that she's actually so tanky inside of her shroud that Q Udia can't one shot her. So she's actually a hard matchup. I would even say hard as fuck when she is meta, but right now I would say she's hard. Hecarim, I would say it's it's a doable matchup. I wouldn't even put him into skill category right now. Um, Hecarim is he has a lot of mobility, meaning he can get out of your damage range really fast, but then he's also out of his own damage range and Udi doesn't like really have to do a whole lot he's either in doable or easy category right now but since he's getting buffed now i will probably put him into doable for now ivan i would say ivan is hard bro i would say ivan is kind of hard ivan is very annoying a good ivan is not gonna let you hit level four first of all he's not gonna let you hit level four in your first clear and you can't do a whole lot about it yourself um ivan has a lot of shielding meaning that like a lot of your phoenix damage is just gonna take into the shielding if you play uh, tiger udir you have to burn a lot of awaken east to even get into ranged of people because of his q and his e it's a hard matchup i would even put him into hard as fuck but you can one shot him so he is very squishy i'm gonna put him into hard category j4 I will put a good J4 into a hard category. J4 has a lot of gameplay against Udia, in my opinion. He can pop his R, EQ out. He can EQ R the backline and you can hit him. He has, like, good gameplay, but he isn't hard as fuck. Like, you can definitely one-shot one -shot him in his ult. You can, like, sit on your carries. So every time he tries to ult, you're on your carries. So you can one-shot him in his ult. He's a diver after all. I would put him into hard or high skill. Maybe let's put him into high skill. Both of you have like a chance to do something here. Karthus, I'm going to put into doable. I almost want to put him into easy. I think the biggest issue against Karthus is just if your team plays horrible. But everybody knows how Karthus ults works and Karthus passive works. I, I want to put him into easy category. He doesn't clear that fast right now compared to the other mage junglers. So he's somewhat on par with, with Udi clearing. And fighting early game, you can do a lot against him. If you just like, if you run towards him and you get to dodge one out of his two Qs, you're probably gonna win the fight in the early game. So I'm gonna put him into, I'm gonna put him into doable. I don't think he is easy. I don't think he's easy. I think he is doable. Pain. Ugh. It's 
difficult to say. I want to put him into skill right now. Kane matchup is not as bad as it used to be for old dude. You have like a lot of options. You can one shot him. You can just kite out his R. Like new Udi is way less feast of famine so you can actually deal with kane's kit in my opinion he is not a horrible matchup kha'zix is a hard matchup you can do a lot with phoenix against kha'zix but kha'zix deals so much isolation damage which is also your um condition to one shot and he has invisibility meaning that he is gonna have the upper hand when it comes to one shotting he's a hard matchup i would even say if you go ad udir and you have deadman's played second or third you probably have a better time playing against the Kha'Zix than a Phoenix Udi, in my opinion. Because you can, like, as soon as he comes out of his stealth, you're instantly gonna chunk, like, a quarter, a third of his HP bar. Right? Where Phoenix is just, like, walking around, trying to DPS somebody who can burst you. But I would say, you know, a good Kha'Zix is hard, though. A good Kha'Zix is hard. Kindred is S tier. Kindred is actually the champion I've been banning for, uh, I've been banning for, like, years now. Like, since Udi got reworked almost. If you play Q Udi against Kindred, she's not only gonna kite the shit out of you, but she can also negate your entire burst damage with an R. You can't punish her in her jungle because she can jump over walls frequently, and she can ult herself, meaning that she gives her team enough time to rotate. It's a horrible matchup for Q. For R, it's the same thing. You throw your R2 into the team, it should be kills, and she just gonna, she's just gonna ult. She can kite outside of your R range. It's a very annoying matchup. She out DPS and out deep uh, outbursts you it's a horrible matchup for dear lee sin right now i would say if lee sin would be stronger he would be a low skill matchup but right now he's just a high doable matchup a good lee sin can do something against you but generally speaking udi is just gonna smoke him with r and q i'm not gonna lie the champion is just not in a good enough spot right now to actually pressure udi in my opinion Lilia, with, without Faded Ashes, I would literally put Lilia into doable, but right now, the way the meta is set out, I would put her into low hard as fuck tier. Lilia has a lot of mobility, she heals a lot, and she actually benefits, in my opinion, much better from the, the dot effect items in the game than Udi does. She also has access to more dot items. She has a dot in her kit too. I would say that Lilia is hard as fuck, but very low hard as fuck. You can definitely play against Lilia, you can do stuff against her, but she's a, she's a difficult matchup now with the changes in items. Master J. Um, oof. This is a weird one. I would... Okay. Master Yi would be easy, in my opinion. If you go just burst Tiger, like Eclipse Stride Breaker, you're always gonna one shot him the entire game. But since your team tends to fade a lot and you don't wanna go AD and you don't wanna be forced to go AD, I'm gonna put him into doable category. I don't think the matchup is actually Yi sided. I think the only issue is that Yi always just somehow walks bot lane level 3 and just queues the bot lane and gets like a double kill, right? Like, it has less to do with the matchup than it has to do with, like, um, your teammates. So I will put it into doable. I would say Udi actually kind of kills him consistently throughout the game as AD. And if you have the perfect team, then this guy would never get to do anything. Morgana. Holy shit, this champion is candy, guys. Cotton candy, this champion. Morgana is a very fast clearer. She's very simple to play in the jungle too. She has a lot of CC. She's annoying. She forces you to use your E2 constantly as AD Udi is. AD Udi has no chance against Morgana, in my opinion, almost. And Phoenix Udi also has to like burn E2s a lot. And she has a spell sheet that absorbs your R damage. It's like, it's not the best matchup. I would, I would say for Phoenix, if it would be only Phoenix, you could maybe say high hard tier but i'm gonna put her into low hard as fuck tier she is difficult a good nidalee honestly from my current standpoint in the current patch i would say a good nidalee is hard as fuck no a good nidalee is hard actually you're always gonna be stronger at fighting than nidalee you're always gonna outscale nidalee but nidalee is one of the champions that rewards a good jungler that plays aggressive so much she is so strong early game and she is so strong early game and can deny you your level 4. It's actually a very hard matchup against a very good Nidalee. I would even say if you're like, I don't know, in Grandmaster or Challenger or something, she's probably hard as fuck. But since most of us are Master or below, I, I would even say most of us, most of the people watching are like around Silver Gold. 
she's hard maybe in silver gold you could even say she's easy because people are just bad but overall not an easy matchup guys nocturne here's the thing with nocturne guys nocturne should be the easiest matchup for q udir ever but udir's q is bugged how is udir's q bugged if you do a lightning strike auto attack into his spell shield your entire auto dis uh, disappears your entire auto attack is gone your sheen proc your crit your on hit damage everything but if you do a normal q auto attack it just goes through that means that you can't awaken q into him i would say that nocturne is somewhat of a hard matchup now I, I, nocturne is a shit champion though I, I will put him into skill i will put him into skill olaf i would put into doable if you go if you go tiger you can definitely consistently kill him in the jungle poppy i will put into for you guys it's probably hard but for me it's probably more like doable i would put poppy into hard for you guys mm, actually let's put her into skill then uh, Poppy is actually not that hard to fight as Udi in my opinion. Phoenix and AD Udi do both kind of good against her. She builds usually very high, very, very high HP, very, very low resistances. So you can usually just one-shot her, but let me just put her into doable actually. She's not that hard of a matchup. Kiana, I would not even put, but let's put her into easy. Remus, I would put into easy too, honestly. If you go Phoenix, Udi, Remus is just fucking useless in my opinion. He's very stationary. Uh, he builds a lot of armor. Udi has an answer to that. Rek'Sai. Good Rek'Sai could be skill, but most Rek'Sai... Uh, do we put her into... No, let's put her into doable. I think Rek'Sai is not that strong of a champion. If her damage would be higher right now, AD Udi would struggle with her, but Phoenix Udi would be completely fine, but... I, I will put her into doable. Rengar... See, Rengar is another one of these champions where if your team doesn't end, you can consistently out team fight him and kill him. But since this champion is actually decent at ganking, I'm gonna put him into skill category because it's kind of on you to like map out where Rengar is on the map for your team because they are not gonna track him. And if your team ends at this point after you track him, then it's not a skill matchup, it's just a skill difference in your team. But overall, he's kind of a skill matchup. You have to be able to track him. Sidrani easy. She has a lot of CC, a lot of utility that can be annoying for AD Udia. But both Udias fare kind of well against Sidrani. Shaco, I would also put into easy. Phoenix Udia can just smoke this guy and stealth. It's like one of the most troll champions to pick into Udi in my opinion both AD and AP Udi can kill him very fast um AP Udi especially the only thing is in low elo he's probably gonna get a lot of kills because he's just gonna gank your laners but you can always outscale him always in my opinion Shivana is a doable category Shivana is kind of strong honestly her damage is kind of crazy even compared to something like Odia but she needs like a specific setup and circumstances to actually be strong getting a lot of dragons getting certain items having a team comp where she can just ult in an e she is strong but udia can definitely bully her out of the early game in my opinion skana the new skana wait let's use the new skana why is the old why is old udia here what the old udia is straight hard as fuck dude this guy would shred the shit out of us skana is honestly hard i'm not gonna lie you can i, I would say a good Skana got nerfed. Let's put him into hard. A good Skana is just gonna CC lock you and your team while you can't auto attack him, and he's extremely durable through his shields and everything. Skana is actually a very good champion into Udi, despite him just being an HP sponge. He's very tanky, and he CCs you so much that you actually don't even get to fight back a lot. It's like the fight back meme. You just don't get to hit them. You're just stunned, stun locked. Five people hitting you on the head. Talia, Talia is hard as fuck, bro. In my opinion, Talia is hard as fuck. A good Talia is gonna deal half your HP, but before you ever get into range, it you might have to blow an E to to get out of uh, little stone zone. Also, by the way, if you do an E stun out of E2, you actually stun yourself if you're in her W field. So this champion is just cringe. Put her into hard as fuck tier. Tiger Udir can one shot her. I would say that this is the funny thing. A lot of these matchups are like really similar for Tiger and Phoenix. Phoenix Udir has better utility into her and doesn't have to reliably get into melee range to deal damage to her. But Tiger Udir can just straight up one shot her in the early mid game. So 
it's it, but the, despite all these facts this champion is still super hard for Udi to deal with Talon a good Talon a good Talon is hard bro a good Talon is actually not as easy as you would think Talon deals a lot of damage he goes invis and his combo is extremely fast and uncounterable he just goes invis and basically deals 90% of your HP bar he is not easy to deal with and also he kind of counters Udyr in more than one way because he can just go over walls and walls to counter Udyr very hard. Nunu is easy in my opinion. Whether he goes full AP or tank you can always kill him and the way he plays is kind of he makes himself vulnerable to Tiger Udyr's one shots and Phoenix Udyr's ass. He's not very that hard of a matchup. Right now Trundle in the jungle I would put into easy. Again Udyr's biggest issue before was that he stole your stats and your auto attack damage and therefore you deal less damage. Now we have a lot of max HP magic damage, he builds a lot of HP, he even steals HP from you. You can definitely just cook this guy with a good Q2 in the early game and he never really gets to be strong. He is annoying, yes, but so are most jungle champions, they are designed to be annoying. Viego I'm gonna put into skill. The skill comes in, don't go AD into Viego. Even though AD one-shots Viego easily, if Viego randomly gets a shutdown on you, he gets the 6 points into Q plus AD item plus attack speed when he gets out of his out of your form. If he presses Q2, does two auto attacks real quick and ults, he's gonna keep your whatever 180% attack speed from your awakened Q. So if you go Phoenix into him, it's much easier. You can kite him out. He is in the shadows. He just gets uh, like in his, what do you call it? In his shroud and he still gets the dot. It's not that hard of a matchup for Phoenix. And you know what? I'm actually going to put him into doable. This is kind of not a fair category for skill because you are still kind of just fisting him if you're Phoenix, in my opinion. Vi, easy. I think Vi doesn't do too well against Phoenix Udi. Vi doesn't do too well against AD Udi either, in my opinion. She's a diver. She's vulnerable. Mm -hmm. She's going to ult onto a target. You can just stay on the target. She's going to ult. You can stun her as soon as she comes out of her ult and just instantly Q2 her for like... 70 80 percent of hp when the adc auto attacks her once with collect and she just goes to narnia i really don't think she's that strong volley bear volley bear in the jungle i would say is easy because he's just an h like he's just an hp sponge ad would like Udi in general just doesn't give a shit about HP sponges like you just one shot them if you play well and they misstep for a millisecond they just that so for both AD and AP Udi, you can deal with the Volibear jungle. Volibear top is a different breed. He goes a very different set of items. But Volibear in the jungle, I would say is easy. Same for Wolfric. Wolfric is easy. You can kite him with your R when he's in his um, in his little E thingy, the stun thingy. If he ults you, you can actually input buffer your E stun when he jumps you and you're just gonna stun him out of his ult, it's just not a good matchup for Vorvik. AD Udi can one-shot him out of his E, you can always kite him like a little doggo and not a great matchup. Xinzo, I would say Xinzo is skill. Xinzo doesn't scale that bad into the mid game, he's a very strong fighter, he's a good skirmisher, but overall if you play well against Xinzo, you're gonna win and if he plays well against you, he's probably gonna stomp you, Zek is gonna go into he needs a C tier to be honest like just straight up cotton candy tier but Zek is such an annoying champion you can't punish Zek in the jungle because of his passive his CC and his E he's just gonna stall you out for like seconds um he is very tanky he has a lot of damage a lot of CC and team fights it's just a horrible matchup guys horrible matchup I hate it you can't punish him Phoenix Udi at least can kill the little thingies on the ground the little slimes but AD Udi you can't even punish him in the jungle if he's like doing something stupid and you want to kill him on red buff or something he's gonna stall for eight seconds fucking support is gonna walk from bot side to red buff, top red buff and fist you it's like horrible that jungle is not really being played, but also it's not that hard. Mordekaiser is also easy. Uh, AD Udi can just one-shot him in ult, and Phoenix Udi can usually just survive his damage in ult. Wukong is also easy for Phoenix. Belvev, right now, I would say is still hard. Belvev is just a disgusting champion in general. Very horrible design, in my opinion, but since they nerfed his... Uh, his? It's a girl, right? Yeah, since they nerfed her E... Um... She is not that oppressive. You can actually one-shot her as Q Udir now. But it's not a skill matchup because she's just like very 
unfortunately, you don't really get to do a lot against Bavev. She can basically control the fight. I will even put her into low as uh, low hard as fuck here. It's a disgusting champion. Jax, doable. Honestly, if you go Phoenix, you can just kite him out in his E and drop an R2. Very easy matchup. Tarek jungle is not being played. That goes into the easy category. Pantheon jungle. I would put Pantheon into easy too. For Phoenix, they like all these champions that are just banking and you walking up to them and having like a manly battle of fist versus fist they just get cucked by Udi slow and kiting and having like this four second window where you deal damages with it's just horrible Udi goes s of course giga chat champion actually Udi versus Udi probably he is hard to deal with for Udi because Udi is an hp sponge but you you would just one shot each other it doesn't matter it's a skill matchup <laughs> It's a skill matchup, guys. Then Maokai. If Maokai is strong, which he isn't right now, I would put him into hard because he has a lot of CC and utility. But since he is weak right now, I will put him into easy category. Silas is doable. He steals your ult. He's very annoying, but AD Odia can generally just one shot him. Rumble is kind of the same, he just deals a shit ton of damage early game, but you can actually one-shot him when he's out of position. Mundo is actually easy category in the jungle, you can just cook him with Qs, be it your AD or AP. Nico is... I want to almost say Nico is skill, bro. If you know what Nico's trying to do next with her passive, you can basically predict every move, and if you don't, she's going to probably get fed. Rail jungle is not being played, so I'm just gonna put her into this. Nautilus. Nafiri. Even if Nafiri would be played on Nautilus, you could just one shot them. Briar. Briar is a doable champion, but she just tends to get fat. It's just one of these champions where, like, it's almost like your team doesn't understand the damage potential she has at each component and is therefore just gonna die to her and she gets fat and if she's very fat she can outduel you for a time but it's not as one-sided as if you dodge her e you usually just kill her as ad or dear right so it's not that hard brand brand goes into hard as fuck category in my opinion a good brand a good brand is gonna kite the shit out of you while one-shotting you and your team you can't do grubs or um, dragons against a good brand because he's just, he's just gonna bounce his ult of them. It's not a fun matchup for the in my opinion. A good brand, a bad brand would be skill, but a good brand would be hard as fuck in my opinion. Zyra is the same because he both full clear. Zyra is a turbo full clear champion. She deals way too much damage. It's just like one of these champions where like you're full tank, you run up to her and you're half HP before she even presses R. And you're like, what happened? The little fucking thorns shooting at you, and you're just basically dead. I mean, then we have Timo and Shen. I saw some Shen jungle lately. It's horrible, and Timo would be horrible too. And that kind of concludes the list, guys. If you agree with this list, let me know in the comments. If you disagree, you can also let me know in the comments. Liking and subscribing is much appreciated. Check out the link in the description. I'm doing viewer of what reviews now, and they're going to be uploaded to the YouTube channel. They are free. All you have to do is send me your vote or your vote ID, and I'm going to check it out. And yeah, see you guys on the next tier list, KEKW.